30 here yet again with a nice brand new shiny video for you got another amplifier to look at this is a pioneer sa508 and yes i have found a schematic for it it's a simple power amplifier with a vu display meter there's no preamp in this they've set the gain of the power amplifiers to around about 101 i believe it is so you're just feeding your input signal directly into the power amp now the complaint on this is there's a buzz on one of the channels. I'm not sure which one it is, but it's probably more likely to be maybe a DC offset. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just verify that there is a buzz on the output by plugging headphones in. I'm not going to connect it to a speaker yet. No way. And just see, power it up, see what it does. A quick look on the inside. It's very 70s. This was made in around 1979 and a really, really retro looking uh, EL core transformer there. Uh, there seems to be a fuse missing there. Is there supposed to be one there? Hmm. I don't know, maybe I should measure across the line core to make sure we've got continuity to the transformer. That might be a good idea. Alright, let's hit the power switch. I don't know, there is continuity there. It's about 16 ohms. So that's perfectly safe to plug in and turn on. Turn that off. Let's move that out of the way. Plug this in. Now it turns on. Very good. I'll plug some headphones in and see what we get. It's a bit of corrosion here on this top circuit board, so it's going to have to be cleaned. They've got headphones connected, but I haven't got them on my ears. I don't want to blow my eardrums off. So I can't hear anything. No, it just sounds like normal hum. I don't know if you can hear that, but... So let me just play with some things. Ah, I hear the buzz. It's on the left channel. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can hear that. Can you hear that? So there's a bit of mains hum getting into the amplifier. Right, so without any further messing about, let's look at the DC offset on the left channel. It's reasonably low. So it's not a DC offset, so that's good. That means the amplifier is working semi-properly. Let's see what the right channel says. About the same. Very little DC offset. So, we know it's not that. It's back on the left channel now. They're about the same, they're even. Is it affected by the volume control? No. Okay. Just took the bottom cover off and there's quite a bit of nasty corrosion on the circuit board in some places. So it might actually have to be cleaned and 
resold it in some places. It's not that bad, but yeah, it's kind of dirty. But I can't see any obvious bad joints or anything under here. Although I could smell warm electronics. So, alright. I uh, cleaned up the circuit boards as best as I can with all the corrosion. Half the traces on that board are non-existent. Wow. Okay, it's hooked up to a speaker now currently. Volume is down. Let's see if we can hear the noise. Mm-hmm. Okay, is it even amplifying? Yep, it's amplifying. Okay, I might have to attack some joints. Alright, I've resoldered every joint in this thing and it's still not fixed the problem. Sounds like a faulty capacitor. And the only electrolytic that's not common to both channels, well, is these two down here. So I need to look on the schematic to find out what they are, because one might be dried out. I don't know. It's worth a try. I don't have a 100 microfarad 35 volt. Hmm. I'll have a look on the schematic to see what those capacitors do. All right, that 2216 volt is part of the bootstrap by the looks of things. And this 100 microfarad 35 volt goes across the self-biasing network. It does say that there is an adjustment on the schematic to adjust the bias, but I can for the life of me not find a pot, so it's the right schematic. But let me try changing that 22. I think I've got one of them, and see if it uh, fixes the noise. It's worth a try. All right, capacitator's been changed. Let's see what happens. Well, the channel sounds a lot quieter. Alright, let's try changing the speaker over. Sounds about the same. So it's more prominent on that channel. Alright. Okay, I might change that 100 microfarad. Okay, that one's changed. I realized I had a spare 100 volt, which is like four times as high. But anyway. See what happens. No, noise is still there. Bug Divino. <coughs> Shit. Oh well, I'm giving up on this one. No matter what I do to it, it doesn't fix the problem. I think it needs recapping, um, and I can't justify the time, effort, or cost to do it, considering what it is. So, yeah, I I've tried like removing the transformer and moving it away from the output wires which go near the AC connection didn't make any difference. Uh, changed two capacitors, made no difference. Yes, I've used a 100 microfarad, 100 volt cap in there, but yeah, it's one capacitor lost. Well, two capacitors actually, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this video here. If uh, you enjoyed this video, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe below. You can always follow me on Facebook and become a Patreon supporter for as little as a dollar a month. 
Anyway, this is the Astro 30 saying I've had a very unsuccessful weekend. Somewhat unproductive as well. Anyway, thanks for watching.